Thank you, Hunter. Hurricane season starts on June 1st, and while it's really too early to say what, if any, impact Central Georgia will see this year, leaders at Robbins Air Force Base say they're already busy preparing. I went behind the lines to learn how some groups at Robbins get ready to weather any major storm that could come our way. While people began picking up the destruction from Hurricane Michael last year, 116th J-STARS Commander Colonel Atu Crumbly says his team packed up. We will clear the roads because the state troopers, the first responders, the medics, they have to use the available roads uh, to move trees, bushes, uh, other debris. Their active duty partners in the 461st also made their way south. Within about 18 hours, we had people on the back of CV-22s and on C-130s going down to Tyndall Air Force Base in order to help reopen their runways and that was all in preparation for uh, heavy jets to come in and bring in teams. It wasn't the first time these groups pitched in after a natural disaster and it likely won't be the last. So I want to be on the pre preventative side. I, I have things that aren't broken yet but they might break so I want to make sure that I get in front of that so just in case it does no citizen of Georgia has to go without because I didn't prepare. And they prepare every day. Colonel Crumbly says they can use the same surveillance and communication that they provide to troops in war zones to help in areas hit with disaster. So if we can see that a bridge is still there, we'll let them know, hey, that bridge is still intact. You need to move your resources over to this place where this bridge is not intact. So it saves time and, and resources on the ground. So you, once again, you can get to affected people. Speaking of having eyes in the sky, it's the job of the Air Force Reserve Command to deploy these hurricane hunters out of Keesler Air Force Base in Mississippi. I'm not sure I would get on that airplane <laughs> and, and fly through what they do. You know it's safe. These planes fly right into the eye of the storm to collect important data for forecasters. Right now, they too are in preparation mode, surveying the Caribbean. To get their folks ready, uh, to understand the, the areas that they're going to fly in, to get more acquainted with those. Drop the instruments into the store. We don't know the impacts of the hurricane season yet, but these groups at Robin say they'll be ready whenever and wherever they're needed. Now, the 5th Combat Communications Group, based at Robbins, also headed south after Michael. They set up systems to help Tyndall Air Force Base open up some limited operations. Now, Hunter, I wanted to talk to you a little bit. You know, as we started to approach the hurricane season, where do some of these storms start to form first? Yeah, so typically early in the season, and it doesn't always shake out like this, but typically we're watching for more of the homegrown activity. So we watch the Caribbean, then we watch the Gulf, especially mm -hmm. this kind of northeastern corner right there. Typically we get about one to two named storms during this first month of the hurricane season. Now it starts slow and then kind of ramps up as we head late summer into fall. So here's kind of the climatological trajectory of everything. So June, July, the summer months normally fairly quiet. Then the climatological peak of hurricane season is around September 10th. And then we get kind of a secondary peak back on October 20th. Of course, we've had a couple of fairly, fairly active hurricane yes. seasons here. <laughs> For us personally in central Georgia, and hopefully we can kind of quiet things down this year. But this as far as what we typically are looking at, that's what we look at for the start of the season. All right, thank you, Hunter. And thankfully, no storms headed our way this week. No, absolutely not. In fact, some really nice weather. We'll have a final check of the seven-day coming up next.